Okay, as you just saw, the um, the Windows. No, you see, I'm used to. I've been used to Windows for 25 years. <laughs> um, the OS2 installation is apparently complete. So I know I keep saying this, but maybe this will be the first real uh, startup of OS2. One can only hope because this. This has been a very long installation process. A successful installation, but a long installation. I think it's even longer than installing Windows 98, to be honest with you. So let's see if we um, get to do anything fun. I even uh, found a uh, game on a website for OS2, uh, a native game for OS2 that we're going to try out in a moment. I'm going to turn the... Yeah, this operating system can be a little bit loud. <laughs> At least sound works, so. All right. Looks like we're finally here. What's this? OS2 Warp, the easiest way to a connected world. Uh... Must be some kind of tour. Let's see what this tutorial is. Okay. There there'd be sound there. OS2 basics. Get hands on experiencing practicing OS2 basics. Uh Hmm. You know what, I think we'll do that later. Alright, here is the OS2 uh, main desktop view. And the uh, time is correct, uh, even showing the year 2020 there. So, this is the first time in my entire life I've ever used OS2, so I'm going to be very, very novice here. <laughs> That might get annoying quick. <laughs> so this is, uh, this might be like a control panel. And this right here, I believe, when OS2 setup lets you uh, run like an emulated version of Windows to run Windows applications, which is something we're going to have to try out and it uses a uh, Windows 3.1 it looks like <coughs> add programs let's see uh, choose one of the following options oh, I shouldn't have done that now it's gonna scan the whole hard drive nah um, mouse? Oh yeah, it looks like a uh, IBM PS2 uh, style mouse there. Comet cursor, what's that? Whatever it was, it wants to restart, so we'll not mess with it. Okay, multimedia setup. What does this do? Anyway, um, let's, let's see what kind of programs we have here that come uh, built in. Now, what's this? Hey, it's the it's the Windows three point one program manager. That is cool. That is really cool. Is this the Windows 3.1 paint? Yes, it is. I like this. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see, can we play a MIDI file? Nope. But there might be other ways of doing that later. And you can access the same programs through this here. Windows programs, that is. See, it's neat. It comes with uh, actual programs from Windows 3.1. <coughs> <3. 1. coughs> see these games come on here. Uh, got chess. I don't know how to play chess, so... <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. Applications. <laughs> oh, that's some kind of uh, voice to text voice to text program. I want to say <laughs> IBM Works. I believe this is supposed to be like uh, Microsoft Works. It's like a basic little office suite. See, how can we get to a word processor? Hmm. Let's just do this. Uh, we'll just name it, uh, whoop. Actually, I don't think we're supposed to be doing that. Test. Actually, you know what? I should have just double-clicked this. <laughs> Here we go. Word processor. Okay, I guess that maximizes. And that minimizes. Okay. Now, where did it go? That might have closed it actually. <laughs> Oops. Let's try this again. Let's uh, type up a little document. That works. <laughs> Can we uh, change the color? Yes, we can. There we go. And we'll save this. Is there like a documents folder on here? Nope, we'll just uh, name it. First, let's see if this can handle uh, long file names. Uh, test document. It's hard to type from this angle I'm at. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, it'll only take uh, small file names out of MS DOS and Windows 3.1. There we go. So Windows 95 has OS2 beaten that it <coughs> can handle long file names, whereas <coughs> this can't. Yeah, <laughs> <coughs> MIDI, let's see if this can go. Uh... Hmm. There's a lot of MIDI files on here. Let's see what Bach is. Okay, why don't we have MIDI editor? Okay, we'll play it anyway on here.
sounded pretty good. Okay, so let's try uh, a third party game for OS2. Got it on a floppy disk here. And let's see if we can uh, see drives. Uh, I'm seeing a drive B for some reason there, and there is no drive B on here, but. Yeah, this is a pinball game. I forget. It's Psych Pinball. I forget the name of it. We'll find out when we open this if it'll even work. <laughs> we'll just run it, run it from the floppy. Dive routines are supported on this machine, but you have not, but but you have not full screen support. Okay, whatever that means. <laughs> Cyberball, that's the name of it. And we'll start a new game. I don't have a feeling this game's going to give me a headache. <laughs> oh, it's already playing. And I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this is an interesting game. I, I don't know what I'm doing. This is... Nothing like any pinball game I've ever played. Like it look, looks like it's playing on its own almost. I'm just hitting random keys on the keyboard right now. See if it'll cause it to do something. This looks more like a uh, some kind of demo scene thing from back in the day. What am I doing? Okay, enough of that. Well, <coughs> It loaded up and did everything. I even though I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do, but that worked. And there were other, many other um, like major games ma made for OS2, like SimCity, and a couple of others I can't think of right now. But let's see if we can uh, set up a, a Windows game. And to do that, um, I was talking to uh, the Flying Scotsman a while ago about that. Apparently, I need to install a special sound driver. And so, we'll just go with a very, very generic uh, sound blaster driver. Um, we go. <laughs> I doubt we'll have MIDI support with this, but it'll work good enough for um, testing purposes. Let me go find a game to try. Okay, this should be simple enough of a game. Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. Designed uh, specifically for Dawson Windows. And of course we're going to be installing the Windows version. Yeah, I guess it's the on drive D. All right, this looks normal enough.
Putt-Putt has been successfully installed. Oh, you know what? I don't think it has a uh, proper video driver on here. Yeah. Win32s has not been correctly installed. Uh, that's, that's lovely. So... Let's see if we can uh, take care of that. You know, I probably should have uh, restarted this thing here. You know, start it back up. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, I think I will save the uh, Windows portion of OS 2 for a separate video once I can get proper drivers installed on here. But you can see that it works well enough to do a couple <coughs> of things. <laughs> and that is OS 2 Warp, the installation and, uh, and test drive of it. I finally got to use it after all these years. I'll, I might do uh, more videos on OS 2 in the future once I learn more about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The link to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.